Hello, my beautiful French troops! For a long time, I thought that I'd like to create something abstract, but stylish and black and white. And finally, I did it! So, today I'll show you how you also can do this. So, let's start with our cube and add a geometry node to it. Now let's delete our cube and let's add another mesh primitive. How do you think of what we will use? Ecosphere. And now let's add a new node that you can find in Blender 3.1. And it is dual mesh. It is a really interesting node that converts mesh vertices into faces and faces into vertices. And now you can see that vertice, this vertice is converted to face, this face. This is how it works. Really, this tutorial is the result of my experiment with uh, this dual mesh. Recently, I've heard that uh, there are some new nodes in Blender 3.1 and I've decided to check these nodes. And dual mesh is one of them. So I decided to play with it and uh, Finally, I obtained a really cool animation that uh, I'd like to share with you. Let's add a subdivision surface. And uh, now let's add uh, a few levels. Now let's change a crease parameter. You can see how it influences our mesh. And uh, I'd like to set it 2.5. Also, I'd like to change radius. And now let's apply noise texture to our sphere to deform it. Here we slightly deform our sphere along normals. We use normal node as vector and uh, our noise texture as a scale parameter. Here I use noise scale 1.1, detail zero, roughness zero, and distortion. Distortion we will change. Now you can see how distortion influences our sphere. So it will be a part of our animation. Now let's set it to zero. Also let's check how crease influence our sphere can see that after 0.5 nothing changes. You also can uh, play with it for your animation, but I'll set it to 5. Now let's animate our noise texture. I've explained it uh, in the last tutorial, so you can check it somewhere here. Now let's play our animation. Yeah. Wow! To make our animation more interesting, we will also change distortion. Here I also use a cosine function for animation and uh, then I remap uh, the result as a cosine function changes uh, from minus 1 to 1. <coughs> and. Uh, Distortion changes from zero. Here you can specify minimal and maximal distortion that will be applied. And now let's add edges to our sphere to make it more interesting. To do this, we have to convert mesh to curve and then curve to mesh and as profile curve I use curve circle. 
now we have to join our meshes also here I instant shades fast on edges Bow. here also use icosphere and set it radius to 0 0.005 and finally let's add rotation to our sphere Bow. now we finished with our animation let's set up materials but first let's set up studio lightning here i have a standard studio lightning setup background main light fill light and rim light also i have camera plain material i set up as black with roughness 0.8 and specular 0.5 when you set up uh, lightning and camera, it is really comfortable to have split screen when you have uh, simultaneously side view and camera view. Now we are ready to set up materials. For our abstract form, we need uh, two materials. The first one uh, for faces and the second one for edges. For edges, I use gold material. I just uh, set base color to yellow and uh, metallic to 1, roughness to 0.5 and specular to 0.5. For base material I wanted to create uh, something looking like porcelain. To obtain uh, this effect uh, we have to use subsurface scattering and uh, as a base color. I choose white color and uh, as subsurface color I choose uh, light pink. Subsurface I set uh, 2.5 and uh, now let's discuss subsurface radius. For a long time I thought what does it mean and uh, really I just uh, had to check blend manual. But uh, who do this? Finally, I found out that uh, this parameter defines RGB channels. For example, if you want to add reddish for your material, you have to increase the first uh, parameter. If you want to add greenish, you can increase the second parameter. And uh, if you want to add uh, bluish you can change the third parameter really easy <laughs> in uh, my case i don't uh, change uh, these parameters as uh, they uh, satisfies me i just uh, change uh, roughness 2.3 and uh, specular 2.5 now let's apply our materials we have to add set material node here 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 this is our base material this is edge material and this is also edge material and this is our final result what do you think it looks like uh -huh. I think it's a kind of armor jelly. What do you think? Write in comments, like this video and subscribe my channel. Bye bye!